Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how you can deactivate the lane assist. Uh, I know of two ways of deactivating it. One is by remembering what is the last pressed uh, option of this button. So activate or deactivate. Or the other is to permanently deactivate the, the lane assist. I will not recommend the second way but uh, because it will be harder to activate it again uh, you need again to program the car so i will show you first how you you can uh, force the car to remember what is the last known position of the bottom now if i just to show you how it is by default if i deactivate the lane assist then turn off the car and switch it on again it starts uh, again with active lane assist so to program this to remember the last uh, known uh, position of the button I will use OBD11 which is a dongle that I already connected with the car and this is the OBD11 app which is used to program the car so you need to go to the driver assistant uh, module or section then you need to go to long coding and then you need to search for an option named perso hc this one i will press it and i will select last setting so i will program this to the car you can see the coding is accepted so now i will turn off the lane assist then i will turn off the car and turn the car back on and you can see that the the car remembers uh, the last uh, position of the button so i will recommend this way and not to, to totally uh, turn off the lane assist because it is more harder than to uh, turn it on Currently, I can just press the button and it will turn on and off. So I will show you now the next uh, option that you can do to permanently disable the, the lane assist. I will again use the uh, OBD11 and I will, I will search for steering assistance module, this one, then long coring, then lane assist. You can turn it not active like this. Okay. Then save. And you will see a message showing that the lane assist is deactivated. And this will be permanently. You cannot press it again. You can see here the lane assist is currently not, not available. This will also cause a little bit of distraction because when you turn on the car each time, you have a beep like this and you have information here uh, explaining that uh, the lane assist is uh, deactivated i didn't saw that try again maybe i missed the information no it's just a beeping so you cannot do anything with the when you press it, press the button, you can see lane assist is currently not available. And if you want to activate it again, you have to enter a security code. So security access, then use this code 19249 to login. Okay. Search. I have already uh, I have already entered this code so I can I'll just cancel it I already uh, entered this code because I have tested the functionality but in order to uh, activate it again you need to enter this code and then you go back to long coding lane assist active okay okay and this is the code that you have to enter And now this functionality is available. I need to turn off and on the car again. 
but I can, you can see, I can turn it off. I can turn it on, or oh, this off, this on. So uh, I will recommend to use the first method where you can program the, the car to remember the last position of the lane assist so that uh, you can turn it off on or uh, on or off very easily. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.